All right, let me ask you something. How are your plants doing after that blazing summer? Ah, are you kind of ready for some fresh fall plants in your yard? Well, that's where the Pima County Master Gardeners Fall Plant Sale comes in. Michael Ishmael is here to show us just a sampling of what you'll see if you come out there. This is really just a very small sampling of what you guys have. So how is. many plants do you guys end up having out there? Oh, probably close to about 2,500 this fall. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, and I know you do this in the spring and then you do this again in the fall. So are we ready and geared up for this plant sale? We're just about ready. Yeah, the plant sale is this Saturday from 8 to 11. And uh, this is our fall uh, plant sale, which is one of our two sales for the year. And it's a major fundraiser for us. So we're really excited about this. We'll still have Master Gardeners there over the next few days, putting some finishing touches on. Because I know how you guys are. You want it to be ready and perfect for everyone. And now I said this is a small sampling. Do you want to start down here and kind of tell me what we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, absolutely. Over here at the end, we have a denium, which is commonly called desert rose here. And also a blue sky flower, which you can see is an appropriate name yes. for this, which is sort of towering flower. Um, butterfly mist is a really popular selection. It attracts so many butterflies. It's really fantastic in your garden. Um, some bulbine in front, which is a succulent, a flowering succulent. Hate ashberry here in the back. I mean, just so many to choose yes. from. This is, I always like to, as you know, I always like to, uh, to show the milkweeds because yes. it's such an important one for us to put in our gardens for the monarch butterfly. This is an Arizona milkweed, so it's really well adapted to Arizona. We'll have figs. We have actually four varieties of figs this year, and it just kind of keeps on going. This is a butterfly uh, yeah, bush over to your left and different types of grasses and uh, quite a lot that's available. Like you said, this is just a small sample of what we have. Well, now the arrangement, sorry, I just stuck my hand in that shot. Uh, the arrangement, you guys have somebody that does these. Yeah, Alexis puts these yes! together and she does such a great job. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of really creative people there at the Master Garden uh, Gardener program that put together a lot of neat things for the public. Well, you know, the one that looks like it's the hair is my favorite. At, yeah, uh, for it's really reasons. creative. We have quite a few of those available this year. I love that one. It was, it is, it's very creative, very, you know, unique something. Uh, now we'll have all these plants plus a ton, ton more, right. but I love that you hit on things like, you know, this one will bring butterflies to your gardens or this one will do this or that. These are the kinds of questions we can ask. The master gardeners will kind of be around yeah. for us to ask, right? Yes. Yeah, so there'll be a booth, a ask a master gardener booth. <laughs> and so you can go and ask questions that you'll have. And also the demonstration gardens will be open and there'll be master gardeners in each of the demonstration gardens to show off a lot of the hard work they've put into the gardens this year. And that'll also kind of uh, spur some inspiration in you. Like, oh, I love the way this looks. Let me kind of recreate that uh, at my house. Kind of, you know, which plants can I transfer from what this looks like to my house? Yeah. Now, is this kind of what they look like when I go to buy it? Are they in these kind of yeah, containers? Yeah, they're in these pots so that you can take them home okay. and transplant them into the ground. And, you know, I, maybe I can take a moment to give a few tips on yes, that. Because I was going to say, that's probably the scary part. Like, it looks great, but I don't want to ruin what you guys have already started by getting it to my house and getting it into my yard. Yeah, it's not too difficult to do, so okay. don't be afraid of the process. It's really as simple as digging a hole that's two and a half to three times the diameter of the root ball, which is the part that's in the pot. Okay. Um, from there, you want to make sure that you backfill with native soil. Don't add amendments, compost, and fertilizers to okay. the hole itself. And that's a common mistake that people make. And it actually can cause what's called a pot in ground effect, okay. where the plant just wants to keep all of its roots in that nice, rich soil, and it doesn't venture out past that, which could stunt the growth of the plant and also lead to its death. So you want to make sure that you just backfill with native soil. Now, is it a... Again, we all know how green my thumb is. Is it true that when we first put it in there, how much water are we supposed to be giving it? That's a great question yeah. because that really changes over time. Okay. So we have a graphic to show about that. And it's this is something that you can find on the amwua.org website. And this is these are guidelines for planting new plants. So you'll see when you first put them in during weeks one and two, it's only three to four every three to four days that you're okay. watering it. And then it changes over time. You know, by the time it's been in for, you know, seven to eight weeks, you're talking every 10 to 14 days for desert adapted plants. And you'll also find guidelines on the website for other uh, non-desert adapted plants, not only about when you first put it in, but 
what you do after that first eight weeks and how you change the watering over time. So this is something that is an important thing to learn about as a gardener to make sure that right. your watering practices help to keep your, your plants healthy. I would recommend taking advantage of the SmartScape program if you want to learn more about irrigation, right. which is also there at the Agricultural Extension. So you can go and take free classes actually about, uh, about irrigation. There's so much uh, to learn. And on top of the plants and everything, is there other things that I can purchase uh, if I come out to the plant cell? Because I know I was asking you what this was. Yeah, this is actually a gourd um, bird house. Oh. So pretty creative, one of the master gardeners uh, put together. And you'll also find bags of the Arbico compost from the insectary. We'll have beneficial nematodes, which are good for fighting grubs if you have a grub problem in your garden. Uh, also things like green, green lacewing larva. Um, so there's quite a bit that you'll find there on uh, in addition to all these great plants. So even if like your, your garden's good, you don't need anything to add, you can come and purchase other things there. This is still going to be good for you and a great resource just to go and ask questions. Ask questions, <laughs> enjoy the demonstration gardens, and yes. just enjoy the event. It's a great Tucson event. Well, good luck to you guys. I know you guys are busy. It's kind of like a wedding. You guys are like gearing up for it. So let's get everybody out to the event. The Master Gardener's Fall Plant Sale is this Saturday from 8 to 11 a.m. Free demonstration garden tours will take place during the day. Learn more by visiting extension.arizona.edu slash Pima or give them a call at 626-5161.